In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your live stream to YouTube using a web browser and the local IP address for your camera. So the next step to getting your live stream camera onto YouTube Studio is to actually access the camera and enter in your stream URL and stream key. So we've already created our stream. We have our stream key here. Like I mentioned, I need to access my camera. Now this video assumes that you already know the IP address for your camera. Either we've set it for you and sent it into email or we've labeled the box with the IP address. So make sure you check the top flap of your box or check your email for the IP address and login credentials for your camera. So the next thing you need to do is open a new tab and then type in the IP address for your camera. Mine just so happens to be 192.168.1.45. So this will work in any modern browser such as Chrome or Safari. And I need to type in my username and then the password. Again, the credentials for your camera can be found on a label on the top of your camera's box or in the email that we sent to you. So I've typed in my username and password and then I can click the login button. It might take a few seconds to log into your camera and then your camera will actually pull up a stream from the camera within a few moments. So here we see we have the stream from my camera on the web interface of my camera. However, I need to enable streaming and then make sure that I enter in my stream key to get that stream, this stream you're seeing here, onto YouTube Live. So I wanna get this video that you're seeing on this page into this little window in my YouTube studio. So in order to do that, I need to go back to the camera and then click on the setting tab Inside of the setting tab, I'm first going to want to go to the network page into the access platform page and then enable my P2P setting. So by default, we'll have enabled this for you already, but make sure that it is enabled because in order for the camera to reach out to YouTube, the P2P setting does need to be enabled and then have an online status. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that. Click the save button. It says the save succeeded. And then I need to give it a few moments before refreshing to check to see if the status is now online. So I'm going to do that now. You can see the status went from a red offline to a green online. This means the camera is connected to the internet and is ready to stream to YouTube Live. As long as you haven't changed any settings on the camera, then your stream will work after going to the RTMP tab, again within the settings page under the network menu and then the access platform submenu, then clicking on the RTMP tab. So here you need to first enable your stream. You can choose your stream type. Usually you're gonna to wanna to choose the mainstream, which is your high resolution, either 2K or 4K, depending on what camera you purchased from us. And then the address type, you're gonna to need to go to the custom address type. So this is gonna allow you to enter in your stream key URL from YouTube into the custom address text box here. So in order to do that, I first need to click on here, make sure that my cursor is blinking. I'm gonna open up my notepad software where I have my stream key available. And I'm gonna hover and drag my mouse while clicking to highlight my stream key. For our tech savvy users, you can do control C or right click and click copy. Make sure you again click on your custom address text box field and for our tech savvy users this would be control V or right click and click paste. So again you're going to want to make sure that this stream key is accurate and does not have any errors. So I'm going to cover a few of the common mistakes here. We've had customers accidentally add an additional RTMP colon and some additional forward slashes here. Really all you need is one RTMP, a colon and then two forward slashes. Another common issue is a either too many or no forward slash after the live too. So when you're copying your stream key from YouTube, it does not add this forward slash. So you do need to make sure that there's a forward slash after the live two or live one, whichever it gives you, and then paste your stream key after here. The stream key should consist of four letters or numbers in five different sections. So we have, we have that here. So we have our stream key, there's no errors in here. We have our slash in the middle and then we have our unique stream key here after the stream URL. So again, I've copied and pasted that into my custom address field in my camera in the RTMP section and then I need to click the save button. 
says after enabling RTMP, video and audio data will be pushed to third party servers, in this case, YouTube. So you wanna make sure that it can be trusted. We trust YouTube. So I'm gonna click the OK button. It says the save succeeded. If you don't get a save succeeded message here, you are gonna to wanna to make sure you run back through some of our tutorials, make sure you have those settings enabled and that you haven't modified any settings in the camera before getting to this step. So if you've entered in your stream key correctly and you haven't made any changes to those crucial settings, then your stream should be online within a few moments after enabling the stream setting. If it isn't, then you need to go under camera, into video, Make sure that your encode mode is set to H.264, that you have a reasonable bit rate, and then make sure you go to the audio tab and that your audio stream is enabled and set to AAC. And you might want to pump up your sampling frequency, otherwise known as your bit rate. So I'm going to click save. And then go back under network into platform access. Click save again to make sure that we push this stream to YouTube. And while I'm on the topic of troubleshooting your live stream, keep in mind you will have to revisit the RTMP page if you have an unstable internet connection or you have a slow internet connection that drops the stream from time to time. YouTube is very picky about streams, so when they drop, it doesn't automatically pick those streams back up. So you do need to come back into the RTMP tab by either disabling and re-enabling the stream or just clicking the save button while the stream is still enabled to refresh your stream and get it to start streaming again. And then our stream will come up within a few moments and it says we have an excellent connection. So just to recap, I typed in the IP address for my camera. I logged in using the username and password that's either in the email that was sent to me or on the label on the top of my camera's box. I went to the setting tab within my camera I went to the access platform page. I went to the P2P tab, made sure that this was enabled and had an online status. If you don't get an online status, then you will wanna contact our techs for further assistance. I went to the RTMP tab. I made sure it was enabled. I chose my stream type. I chose my address type being custom. I went and found my stream key that I created in step one and two of this guide. I copied that stream key and put it in the custom address text field on the RTMP page. And then I went over some settings that may need to be fixed in order to get your stream running. Just to cover those settings again under the camera and video tab, the encode mode should be H.264, preferably with the smart codec off, choosing the resolution for your camera and making sure that your frame rate and bit rate are adequate for your internet connection. If you have a slower internet connection, you will want to lower your bit rate, resolution, and frame rate in order to successfully stream. Last but not least, you do need to go into the audio tab and then make sure that audio is enabled and the encode mode is set to AAC. YouTube will only accept a stream if it is set to H.264 for the video and then it is set to AAC for the audio stream. Again, after enabling those settings, and entering my stream key and enabling the RTMP stream, I was successfully able to start my stream, thereby getting the video from my web interface streaming on YouTube Live. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.